Hi everyone, for this week's Make It Monday, it's Ashley Cannonool, and I have a fun tutorial to share with you today on how to stamp random background patterns. And this is the card that I'm gonna be making in this video. To get started, I have this set here. I'm gonna be using this solid image and these other ones. You can also use a larger circle image. It just depends on what you want. This is from Polka Dot Basics. This is the first Polka Dot stamp set that Paper Train came out with years ago. And I have here rustic white cardstock, um, an A2 size folded in half, and I'm just going to use that as my um, base to stamp with. And I have three different acrylic blocks that I'm gonna be using um, to place the circular stamps on each one separately. And the reason why I'm doing that, as you will see in a couple minutes, is so that I can stamp them um, separately and can be ready to go and stamp the pattern on the different inks. And I put them in the upper corner so that I can just stamp there as opposed to stamping in the middle um, of the actual block because uh, I just like to stamp on the end when it's such a little small stamp like that. And to do this technique, you technically can use any small uh, stamps that you have. Stars were suggested on the forum. You can also use little flowers of different sizes. Any of those little small images that come in your stamp sets, this is a great way to use them and you can create your own background patterns using it. So I'm starting with the, the largest circle stamp that I've selected um, and just randomly stamping it all over the entire card front. There's no pattern that I am really trying to get. I'm just trying to get an even coverage over everywhere. I didn't really even count how many circles I did. I just try to just get a good idea and I knowing that I will also be stamping um, the same color and the medium and then the small circular size as well. So again you can use stars, you can use flowers, you can use um, I guess little decorative type of uh, images that come in your stamp sets and they will create great patterns. You can use all different, different sorts of colors you can do a monochromatic type of theme where you're using a tone on tone uh, pattern. With like, let's say, for instance, if this was aqua mist cardstock, you can be stamping the aqua mist or a Versamark watermark ink directly on it and get that tone on tone look. There's so many different variations you can do with this particular technique, but this is a great way you can get a random uh, polka dot pattern. And this is the way I do it so I can keep continuously stamp with one ink and not have to keep changing it out. So that's why I put the dots on different blocks so I can keep it, keep it going. And this pretty much comes together in a matter of, I'd say, about five minutes. Something really good to do while watching TV and just stamping randomly because you don't have to uh, stamp on a particular pattern. So I'm just going to show this, this melon berry ink that I'm using. You can overlap them. It's okay if they kind of overlap or touch. And this is the largest one here. And the next ink I have is simply chartreuse. I'm just going to just show you, get it started here. I'm not going to record the entire process because now you can kind of see it's just going in the same order using the three different size polka dots and then each different color. And my last color is going to be the raspberry fizz. And as you can see here, my card front is just about full. I'm just filling in. When it gets towards the end, it's really easy to do because you can just kind of fill in and see where spaces are missing and you can just add those polka dots wherever you like. All right, so to finish this card, I already have here um, a focal point. You can either have it landscape or portrait. It's up to you. I was going to do it landscape, but I think I'm going to decide to do it portrait um, a little later. But I already have here, I have the Mad Stat 6 collection stamp set, of course, with the coordinating Mad Stat six die and a limitless layer two and a quarter inch oval 
and I already have here my embellishment already finished here and I embellished it with some buttons on each side and I'm done and this card comes together very quickly in a matter of 10 minutes or less. So I hope this week you can, you can stamp your own random background pattern using whatever images that you want, whether it's polka dots, stars, or flowers. Just have fun and create your a random, a random background pattern. For Paper Training, I'm Ashley Cannonoul. Bye!